What's up guys, apparently I'm Canelo Alvarez, welcome back to episode 177 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best gaming setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, as well as the Gleam link to enter the Razor Rescue giveaway. But let's start off episode 177. First up, we have Oliver, and you guys already know, this is some room tour project stuff. I feel like this was handmade to fit the series in my style, but I'm loving the warm, cozy lighting behind the desk and on the desk as well, mixed in with a lot of the greens for the plants and the wallpaper. This is awesome. So his primary monitor off to the left is the Acer Predator 27 inch with a 28 inch Samsung 4K monitor mounted right next to it. And those little light bars on each side, those are from Philips. It's their newer Hue Play kit. Has them sitting there vertically, adds a cool dimension to the lighting. As for the peripherals, his keyboard is Logitech G513 with the Logitech MX Master Mouse. For audio, you can see that little controller in the back. That is for his speaker setup, the Logitech Z333 speakers. And also for headphones, although not pictured, he has the Bose QC35 and the B&O Beoplay H6. But now, as for the PC, he's using the Corsair Carbide Clear 400C case, still going to a black and green kind of theme to match everything. Inside is an Intel i7 8700K CPU with the NDXE Kraken X62 AIO, with 32 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaw RAM on the ASUS ROG Strix Z370E motherboard with an MSI GTX 1080 graphics card and a Samsung 970 EVO M.2 SSD for some extra storage. And then right next to his setup, he has his entertainment center for a nice massive TV. Uh, not too much information on that, but I like how he has it there right by his side. He can be at his setup, look off to the right, have it there, probably some consoles and stuff as well. But all together, I'm just, I'm loving the blend of the natural, you know, the wooden desk, all the plants around the room, even having it, you know, integrated with the lighting and the wallpaper. Definitely my kind of vibes. Now we got Tequila Sunrise. Another great job of blending RGB. You could you could say what you want about RGB. You might hate it, you might love it, but when you have two colors in the room, you know, blend nicely like this, it really does a lot. And here with the purples, either that's like an orange or a red, it blends well and it looks really cool. So he's going with the stacked mounted monitor here, really nice and clean, practically no cables in sight. His primary monitor is an Alienware 25 inch with the overhead being the 34 inch ultra wide from Alienware. But with the monitor arm he has it on, he can just bring that down in front of the 25 inch to take advantage of the extra pixels with the 34 inch ultra wide and then use that as his primary. Love that functionality. As for his peripherals with the Logitech G613 wireless keyboard with the Logitech G Pro wireless mouse. The speakers there are the Logitech G560 light sync speakers and an absolutely massive, massive, extra, extra, crazy, extra large uh, desk mat there, pretty much, in addition to his SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless headset. Over to his PC, this is the Leon Lee PC011 dynamic case, always loving this. Inside the Intel i7-9700K CPU with an NZXT Kraken X72 AIO. Got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on Asus ROG Maximus 11 Hero motherboard. An EVGA RTX 2080 Ti FTW3 graphics card and a one terabyte Samsung Evo 970 M.2. All blending together, again, really nicely to give it those sunrise, sunset color vibes. And that is also in addition to his Razer Blade 15. It's the 4K Touch i7-8750H with the GTX 1070 Max-Q graphics. Now that was a mouthful. That's what she said, let's move on. But when it comes down to it, I just love the simplicity and the organization here. Everything is so well kept and organized. There aren't really any cables to be seen. Very, very well managed. And when it comes to mounting two monitors like this, even with the monitor arm that can fold down in front of the display, it tends to get messy, but here it was pulled off flawlessly and the RGB definitely fits into your sunrise sunset theme. Love this, man. Now we got Dylan coming in with his crazy gaming room, loving the wooden floors, got a triple monitor set up off to the right side of the room in the corner, a massive mounted TV and a really cool entertainment center going on over there, tons of gaming and Star Wars stuff throughout. 
love stuff like this. So into his primary setup, the triple monitors, all three are a 24 inch LG display. Again, just mounted beautifully, can't see any cables, RGB light strip behind the desk to give it some back sort of glow. I wish the wallpaper would span across all three, but I'll let you slide, it looks fine. For peripherals, again, they got the Logitech LightSync G560 speakers with the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 keyboard and the Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse on an extended mouse pad. Have a grommet in the middle of the desk there so we can wrap the cables efficiently without them just, you know, laying around on the desk. And his headset is the Razer Kraken 7.1 V2 Mercury. White headset, fits in with the white themes you got going on, the desk, yeah, 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 yeah. And now we'll take a peek over at that PC and I'm spotting myself a little Reaper there. Uh, this is the Corsair Crystal 570X case, all black and white again, with an AMD Ryzen 7 1700X CPU with the Corsair Hydro H100i V2 AIO. 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM, keeping it white there on the Asus RG Strix B350F motherboard and a Gigabyte GTX 1080 G1 graphics card. And inside, fitting along with the theme and stuff. Ah, oh, come on. The Corsair SP120 RGB fan. Damn emails. But a real nice all black and white build. And for another glimpse over at the entertainment setup, again, not really much info here. He didn't tell me anything about the TV or anything, but it looks pretty big, that's for sure. Also mounted, and you got the consoles there, console area playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. Definitely a really cool, chill gaming spot here. Best of both worlds, spot to kick back and chill, play some consoles, head over to the desk setup, crazy triple monitors, really good setup, man. Now we've got Blitzy with a triple monitor set up, but in his own unique orientation. A normal mounted monitor and then two kind of under ones. You know, you usually see an overhead, but not ones that are below it angled up. And I've seen this a few times actually, and it's actually pretty cool. So checking it all out, his primary display there in the middle, which is eye level with him, is the ASUS 27 inch 144 Hertz panel. And the two secondary ones underneath are 25 inch monitors from LG. So we can, you know, just have windows down here, browse the web, not to hurt his neck or anything, just casually look down and he's got two extra screens. Pretty cool. So as for his peripherals, a lot of HyperX here. Got the HyperX Alloy Elite keyboard with the HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro RGB mouse on the HyperX Extra Large mouse pad. You can see he also has the HyperX Quadcast microphone with his HyperX Cloud Revolver S headset and the Elgato Stream Deck in addition to the Logitech X230 speakers. Man oh man. Most likely a streamer with all that gear. Over to his PC, it's the Thermaltake Suppressor F31 tempered glass case and inside is an Intel i7-7700K CPU, 16 gigs of a data XPG Z1 RAM on an Asus Prime Z270K motherboard. Got one of the older OG Corsair AIOs and an MSI GTX 1070 graphics card. So have your opinions. I for one really like the normal eye level monitor with the two under instead of the overhead. You don't see it too often, but I like it when it's pulled off. And I wanna hear your thoughts down below. Do you guys dig this kind of orientation or not? Drop a comment, I'm curious. Then lastly is Matt Can't Color. I, I'm not saying he can't color, that's his name but a really cool setup that has a lot of DIY going into it, which was you could see with things like the wall vinyl he has going throughout his room. You can see it's like this geometric landscape with these mountains and then it fades out into these other geometric shapes, all DIY, and it helps tie the room together and really fit it to his simple setup. I'm really liking the approach here. So for his display, he's going with the single solo mounted monitor. It's a 24 inch from Asus. Got the RGB light strip behind the desk, behind the monitor, and in the PC, all synced together. And then down to his peripherals, Logitech G810 Orion Spectrum keyboard with the Logitech G502 mouse, which he does have custom skinned on an extended mouse pad. Then a quick look under the desk. Again, a great job at cable management. Just the one cable there from where he has it routed and an RGB light strip. 
But over to the PC, it's the NZXT H500 case inside the Intel i7 9700K with a deep cool captain 240EX RGB AIO, 16 gigs of XPG Z1 RAM on Gigabyte Z370 XP SLI motherboard with an EVGA GTX 1070 Ti, a Samsung 960 Evo, NVMe SSD, and a Sentry turret from Portal. Across the room, another really chill looking spot for an entertainment center, the mounted TV with the backlighting behind there as well. Got those Ikea lamps on each side, but I love just the whole way it comes together here. Some little things like a little Pokeball terrarium, some more pop figures, and this is all in his room. So a really, really cool gaming room that brings everything together really, really nicely from the DIY uh, wall vinyl, the prints, the signs, really digging this. This is a hell of a bedroom. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 177 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed. If you saw anything you liked, don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the PC hardware and peripherals I have listed down there, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered in a future episode of Room Tour Project, as well as a link to enter your, you know, below average in need of an uplift setup if you want to win some uh, brand new gear from Razer from the Razer Rescue Giveaway. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.